Hello everybody, Seth Amazon here and in today's video, I just want to show you how you can set up an Amazon KDP account, a verify Amazon KDP account without requiring or receiving OTP on your phone number. So quickly, what I want to show you is not necessarily a hack. As you may already know, there's um, a challenge or two with sending OTP to new account. So I just want to show you because this is something that I have used and um i've also taught a number of people and it has been very helpful i see the need for it and that's why i've decided to do this video and i'm trusting it's going to be helpful for you as well so what you need first a valid email and by valid email i mean an email that you have not used to sign up on amazon um at all you can choose to create a new email if you want to but just uh, um i mean an, an email that you have not used for any Amazon related. Secondly, you need Amazon shopping app. And thirdly, you need Google Authenticator app. So I'm going to show you how this will work right away. Um, okay, so first I just want you to go to just go to Play Store. On Play Store, I want you to search and download. I want you to search and download amazon shopping just go to amazon shopping app like this then click on install mine is showing open because i already have the app then having downloaded and installed that i want you to now search for google authenticator also install that app after you have installed it then you are good to go what i want you to do now is open this amazon app this amazon shopping app just open it and it's going to come up like this it's an app and why this will work is because you know the way amazon works you can see that i'm currently in nigeria the way amazon works is that you use one account to set up and um, work on their platform so which means if you have one amazon kdp account you can use it to buy something on their store if you have their prime account you can also use that to, you know, to set up an amazon account so you just need one valid account with them and then you are good to go so what i wanted to do is after i've opened the app i wanted to tap on this um part where you see something that looks like an avatar tap on it and allow it to just come up so you will see this i want you to click on create account right now you see it's uh, it's asking us if you have an account ready to sign up or uh, you're a new customer so click or create new account and then type in the information right just type your first name and last name and instead of mobile number, use your email. You can see mobile number or email. So use email. And then you can also see says create password to so also create a password. I'm going to go ahead with, to do this right now. So I will pause this video. So after you have put in the information, I want you to just click on verify email. Okay, now it's asking us to solve a puzzle. Guys, from my um, experience, the little experience I've had on this, the moment it shows you a puzzle like this, there's every possibility that this will not work. There's every possibility that the moment I solve this puzzle, that they are going to ask me for phone number. But let's go ahead and try and see. Normally, he's not supposed to ask me, he's not supposed to show me this puzzle. He's supposed to just send me, send me OTP directly to that email. But let me go ahead. Let me solve the puzzle. Let me solve the puzzle and see what happens. So, uh, uh, C M five seven. Okay, so let's go. Oh, fantastic! They sent the email. They sent the OTP directly to the email. So I'll get the OTP right now, and then um, we'll continue on this video. So I've gotten the OTP. I'm going to insert that. Okay. Uh, you see, you see what I was saying. Um, the moment they ask you for any puzzle, the moment they, you are asked to do a puzzle, guys, just <laughs> just leave that account and start all over again, all right? So you see, they asked me for puzzle, and I solved the puzzle, and now they are asking me for phone number. So which means this will not work. So I'm going to stop this and try out a new email, just for me to show you how it's supposed to work, all right? So. This is how we go. This is how we roll. Um, so guys, I'm I'm back here. 
I've gotten another email. I want to try out. See, I have opened the Amazon app again. So I'll click on done. This is normally the way it should show you when you are um, looking at the account. So you click on new to Amazon, then you create an account. So I'm going to now fill up this information right now. So then I have filled up this information. I'll just click on verify email and let's see. If they send me the email directly without puzzle, that means it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. So let's click and see. This is a new email I've just used. Fantastic, you see. Now, this time, there was no puzzle for me to solve, which means that this will work. It will definitely work. I just need to get the OTP sent to this email right now, which I'm going to put. The moment I put the OTP, it you will see that it will take me straight to um, um, completely other details of my accounts. So just see very much. Okay, so I've gotten the OTP for this account. So let me just type that right now. It's zero eight zero four two six four two six. Yes, yeah, so I'll click on create your Amazon account. And you see what happened. Fantastic, you see? Deliver deliver to Nigeria. This is it computer account has now been set up there is no phone number requirements there was no phone number requirement now you see the difference the first the difference is that the moment you try to set up the account and you just see puzzle no matter the kind of puzzle if they just ask you to solve any puzzle you just abandon the account it's not work right but if you do it and they send you the otp straight up then it will work now once you have done that i want you to still come back here Come back to this um, human-like avatar at the bottom. Just click on that, right? So when you click on that, I want to show you how we can be able to bypass the need for the OTP, right? So once you click on that, come to this part where you see your accounts, click on your accounts. Now, once you click on accounts, come down here, you see login and security. I want you to click on that. Now, under login and security, I want you to scroll up. Just scroll up. You see this part I talked about two step verification. I want you to click on turn on. Right? So scroll down a little bit. You see this part I say get started. Click on that. Now, there are two options phone number and then authenticator app down here. Look at it authenticator app. So select authenticator app instead of phone number. Fantastic. Now that we have done this, right? What I want you to now do is um, click on this part that says can't sign, can't scan barcode. That's where, where I want you to click on. Just click on that option. You see that you there's an information here. Let me do that again. There's an information here that explains to you in details how to go about this. Now, this is where you now need the other app that we downloaded. Remember the other app we downloaded? the app for authenticator google Net authenticator this is where we need it the first thing it says you can you say if you can't scan the barcode if you open your your authenticator app and select manually add accounts from the menu then secondly it says you enter account name um, as your you put your email address there then enter when you ask to enter accounts and uh, the the key you put this key this set of numbers now or numbers and letters that's the key then you set the key type to time base and then you tap on add so that's what i'm going to show you right now i'm just going to now uh, click and hold and select all of this key like this just select the key like this then we are going to return to our google authenticator app let me show you how to just touch google authenticator app uh, here google authenticator this app just open it now i have a lot of um, apps here what I want to do is just come here and click on this plus sign at the bottom right, right? Just click on that plus sign. Then you see this option that says, scan a QR code, enter a setup key. Click on enter a setup key. This part that says account name, tap on it and either put your email address or just type Amazon. So I'm going to just type, sorry, I'm struggling with this because I'm using a separate phone to record my screen my screen so um 
just uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave it like that. Amazon got this for this for test. I already have my setup already. So put Amazon account, put your put Amazon there or your email address. Then in this part that says key, your key, just paste that long set of code you have copied. Once you are done, allow the type of key to still be on time based. Then click on add. Right now, you see that the look at this last option here, AMA, this AMA that I have here. That is now the code that has now been added to our account. You understand? Now, anytime, anytime you need, anytime you, anytime you are required to sign in, anytime you want to sign in to your Amazon KDP account, instead of um, them sending you code to they are sending you code directly to your um, phone, you will be asked to provide this particular authenticator. Good. So we are not done yet. So what I want to do after this is allow, now that we have a fresh code, just press and hold like this, copy. Then I want to touch your Amazon app like this. Come, just come back here. And in this part, this part provided, pick up, just paste the code you have copied. Ensure that you are pasting the active code, I'm sure that this man must have, then click on verify. It says almost done, right? So scroll like this, come down, you see this part that says, um, got it, turn on two-step verification. But before you do that, make sure you check this box so that it doesn't ask you for OTP anytime you are logging in with your same device. So when you click on that, you see, it says you've turned on two-step verification. When you get to this point, you are good with this app. You can see that your dedicated app has not been enrolled for your accounts. Now, but this is not all right. Where we are now going to pitch our tents is when we are about to set up our Amazon KDP account. This is what you have just done is to set up an Amazon shopping account. I remember what I told you from the beginning. If you have one account on Amazon, that one account suffices for every other account you want to use on the platform, right? So what we simply do now is to return to Amazon KDP what you actually have wanted to set up this account for. So return to your Chrome browser or whatever browser you use, then just simply search for kdp.amazon.com. Now, when you go to kdp.amazon.com, instead of coming to sign up, no, click on sign in this time. When you click on sign in, you can now input those information that you use to set up this account. Just this new information that you are using to set up this account. Let me find it. Uh, where is it? So, the input the email and the password that you use to set up your Amazon shopping account. Then click on sign in. Fantastic. Now it has. Let me save this just in case. Now you can see now. What did they say? It's a two-step verification for other security. Please enter the OTP sent or generated by your authenticator app. So enter the OTP generated by authenticator app. I'll go back to the authenticator app like this. I'll just go back to that authenticator app. Where is it? Um, this, this is it. Then I'll come to this particular key. I'll press and hold. I'm copying. I'm just copying that because I think I have seen that some time before. It elapses. I'll paste that key. Paste that key. Then click on this. Then sign in. All right, so you see, can you see that it has brought me here without asking me any further questions, no email, no phone number whatsoever. So I just click on agree. I want to click on agree. You see, your KDP account is now fully set up. So, but then you remember that, of course, you cannot publish on Amazon without having updated this information. And this is where most people have issues the moment. You set up the account and then you are now asked to update your account setup. And when you click on update, they will now require an OTP sent to your phone. But now we are going to click on update now and see what happens. And voila, no OTP asked. You see, I'm directly I am brought to this point where I am now to fill up my information. You see, that the moment I have already supplied the OTP from that app on my particular browser. They will not ask me for OTP anymore on this particular browser. So this is how you go about setting up your Amazon KDP account without requirements of your phone number, OTP sent to your phone number. I hope this was helpful. 
Now, mind you that while this is a very fantastic way to go ahead, it could also be, um, it could also be challenging because the moment you lose your phone, it's as it's as good as losing the access right to your account. But not to worry, if you lose your phone and you lose the app as well, you cannot always download a new app. Only that you may not be able to get access direct access to your account. But if you go to the help and support. Uh, panel of Amazon, even using that Amazon app, you'll be able to follow some certain procedures and they will guide you on how to recover your account. And those procedures require maybe supplying some ID, you doing some face verification here and there. But don't worry, all of those bridges are crossable. But I hope that this particular tutorial was helpful for you. Please, if it was helpful, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um you know share this video and just spread the word let more people get access to this new knowledge i remain at amazon and it's always my pleasure to help you succeed in your book publishing journey let's keep writing let's keep publishing let's keep earning and let's keep learning cheers and bye bye